Hello everyone and welcome back to Jimmy Talks Jira. As you know, we are in the middle of our Atlassian Access mini-series. I hope you enjoyed last week where we covered how to verify a domain in your Atlassian organization. This week we will be covering how to change the email address of both a managed and unmanaged user within your organization. Without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at uh, unmanaged accounts. Now, one thing to note right off the bat, organization administrators do not actually have control to change an unmanaged user. What they have the ability to do is to suggest changes um, to either the name or the email address, um, which the user has the option to either accept or ignore. All right, so let's get started. Um, first, much like everything else we've been doing, uh, we're going to go to the admin um, .atlassian.com page, which gives us a list of the organizations that we are an administrator for. We're going to go to the directory tab, and it's going to bring us to the users page immediately. Now, I have two users here, uh, the current user I'm logged in as, and my domain account that is managed. So we're going to start by going to show details, and you're going to see that on the left-hand profile card, we have a suggest changes button. We're going to click on that button, and this is going to give us the option to provide suggestions to the either the email or the name for that user. Now, why would you want to suggest changes to an unmanaged user? Uh, one reason could be that you want them to not lose the history of their account, so you are going to suggest that they change their email address to a domain email address, which you can now manage. Um, that, I can see, is the most beneficial way because an unmanaged account, much like we've already talked about, you don't have control over, whereas a managed account you do. The other thing you might be doing is um, asking the user to change their name to something more standard for unmanaged accounts just to identify them correctly as, you know, contract workers that are not permanent staff for the company. So what you will do here is you will type in your suggested change. I might put in Jimmy Talks Jira at jimmytalksjira.com and then I click the submit button. I'm not actually going to do that because I don't want to actually initiate that change myself, but this is the steps that you would need to take. Uh, the email will be sent to the user and they will have the option to accept or reject those changes. And that's about how you would uh, manage an unmanaged account. Okay, so we're going to switch gears now and we're going to talk about managed accounts and changing their email addresses. Uh, so, as we have done before already, we're going to start at going to admin.atlassian.com. Um, that will allow us to get to our organization page. Uh, we're going to click on our organization and we're going to go to our directory uh, where our users are. Now, you can start from this page here or you could go to your managed accounts because this is a managed account. And we're going to find our managed user and we're going to click on show details. Um, if you do that from the users page, it's going to give you the same page that you would see uh, for any unmanaged user uh, with an update details button. Um, when you do that, it's going to take you over to the managed account page where you'll be able to see the details of the managed user. On this page, all you're going to do to update an email address is just click into the field to change the name, and then you'll click the checkmark button to actually make that change. So why would you want to do this? Um, off the top of my head, some of the things that I can think of is A, you have a user who has changed their name. Uh, you know, maybe they got married, so their last name is now different and they want their account to reflect their uh, proper legal name change. Uh, so that would be one reason you might want to change it. The other thing I can think of is your corporate standards for account names have changed. Um, you'll see that I was using the first initial last name. I know it's very common for other organizations to use first name dot last name. Um, and it could be that you have uh, a new corporate standard where you need to change um, the way in which your email addresses are defined. So those are two possibilities. Um, so once you've made the change, you'll click a check mark and please note, as it suggests under here, the user will need to uh, verify their email address. So what will happen is they will get uh, an email notifying them that their email address has been changed and there will be a link for them to click to verify that. Um, they will need to verify before they will be able to access uh, their account under the new email address. 
Uh, and that's basically all there is for uh, updating the email address for a managed account. I hope this second video has been informative as well. And don't forget to tune in next week where we're going to be covering how to enable and disable two-factor authentication for managed and unmanaged users. Also, don't forget, Confluence Customer Love Month is continuing to run in the online community. The description will have a link to the article that has links to all the things you need to get involved and participate in that event. If you've enjoyed this, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and please leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like me to cover in the future. Thanks for stopping by.